As we get started with PowerPoint 2016, I'm using here Windows 10. You can simply search here for PowerPoint to locate it and then hit enter. Once you open PowerPoint, you'll be presented with this interface. On the left, you'll have a listing of presentations that you have used earlier. And then you also have an option here to open prior presentations that you might have saved on your computer. Then here on the right hand side, you have the option to start a blank presentation or to use one of those templates. Using one of those templates, it's very easy. Just simply click on them and then it will download it from Microsoft. I will cover this in a later session in this tutorial. So please hang on and refer to it. Now let's go back here. Let's simply go and start a blank presentation to start with. As I mentioned earlier in this session, we are going to cover some of the basic aspects of PowerPoint of the user interface and get to understand where the different components are so that we can effectively utilize it in the later sessions. Here on the very top, you have these different menus. So file, home, insert, draw, design, transitions, and so on. The idea here is, is that you move from each one of those tabs here on the top and this is part of the office ribbon and uh, any of the basic functionality would be from the home tab all of these different sections notice you have these different sections here related to font paragraph drawing and such then if you want to go to insert once you start making your presentation a little bit better and fancier that's when you can go and insert additional components in your presentation then you move into design transitions and so on so the idea here is, is that you have the office ribbon on the very top with the different tabs and each tab has different sections related to what you're doing in that context. My suggestion is as you get started with PowerPoint, do first the content of your PowerPoint rather than spending too much time or as I might refer to it as wasting a lot of time on tweaking particular aspects, images and uh, other things related to your presentation. The purpose for that is so that you can actually have something for yourself if you are short on time. On the left hand side, you'll have the actual slides, a preview of each slide. So if you have more than one slide, they will show up right there. And then in the middle area, we have the content of the slide. This is where you'd enter the actual content for each uh, slide in your presentation. And then in the bottom, you have here another set of tools like such as the slide numbers and such. Then you have the notes area and then we'll cover this in a later session. Then notice here you have these little icons as well. This is a normal view. And then you could have also the slide sorter. If you had multiple slides, you would be able to move them around and we'll cover this shortly. If you wanted to present the slideshow or your presentation, you'd click on this icon over here. And then if you wanted to zoom in or out into that particular view that you are in, you'd customize it from these tools here in the bottom. Notice that on the top left here, you have also file, and this is where you can access additional functionality related to PowerPoint. One of the things here is it will be under account, where you can connect to the Microsoft account, or under options here, this is where you can customize the look and feel of PowerPoint. So that is the general interface. And now the next session, we are going to cover how to create the first slides, how to get started actually using PowerPoint. So stick around. If you feel that you know some of those features, feel free to forward the video.